man, was funny. He was a pretty awesome kid, man. He, Dad, I'm going to be taller than you. Dad, he told me that every day. His mother used to measure him almost every other week, just to put on a little mark. Before you know it, Aaron was taller than me. He loved basketball. He always wanted to buy another basketball. I don't know how many basketballs we went through, but he had loved basketball. He decided to go in the Air Force. He did say I wanted to go in the Air Force and be like Dad and retire from the military. Unfortunately, he didn't. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. To be totally honest, I was angry because nobody was talking to us. The only people that was talking to us was the Orlando Hospital, either calling us or sending us bills. Nobody from the police department, nobody from the traffic department, nobody. It, it, it's almost like if we, we never would have called you guys, nobody would have. It's like it never happened. That wasn't acceptable. When you have a hunch or when something doesn't quite add up, you have to figure out what happened. And figuring out what happened in this case in particular was a huge part of the process. And you have to go out and you have to reconstruct and figure out what everybody was thinking, the mechanics of what the car did. And in this particular case, there were so many documents from a gigantic construction project to go through. And there were so many photographs from different people around the scene of what happened, as well as the construction project in general that had nothing to do with this case. At the end of all of that, we figured out that something occurred that wasn't necessarily the driver's fault. This case is a testament to not giving up. We knew something was wrong. We knew that this didn't make sense. There is no way in this day and time that this car should have been able to leave the roadway and end up upside down in eight feet of water. And it wasn't easy, but we didn't quit until we figured out what happened. And once we figured out what happened, we put our tools to work to accomplish justice and peace of mind for Greg and Brendan.